Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to Mars December Product of the Month webinar. Today, we're going to be talking about the Mars Surf M310 Portable Roughness Measuring Instrument. I'm your presenter, George Schutz, Director of Precision Gauges here in Providence, Rhode Island. And as we go through today's seminar and webinar, if you have any questions, use the chat uh, uh, boxes to type them in, and I will respond to them uh, after the completion of the webinar. So again, thank you for, uh, for attending today's webinar. Uh, today we're going to learn about the new M310 mobile surface measuring system, which is our product of the month and is also in our Marlite uh, promotional flyer. And as we start, we're going to talk a little bit about what uh, surface finish is and why to measure it, what the M310 is, its features, some of its accessories, applications where you can use it, why you need it, and again, we'll talk about the Mar Lights and uh, the product of the month of promotion. So let's get started. Monitoring surface finish is getting more and more important today. Products uh, for aerospace, electronics, automotive, medical, precision manufacturing, all are requiring tighter and tighter tolerances. So as those dimensional tolerances tighten, form and surface errors become uh, more significant. So every surface has some function and really unless you uh, have it measured, you don't know if it's going to have the product perform as it is desired. So this chart on the right here just shows a little bit about how tolerances you know, back in the 40s and 50s were pretty wide open and any form errors were really a small percentage of that tolerance. But today, you can have some very tight tolerances and form and surface finish can be up to 50% of that tolerance sometimes. So why is surface finish a, something that should be controlled? Well, there's, there's a number of different reasons. Appearance is a very critical one. You know, finishes can appear uh, shiny or reflectivity or inconsistent. And by measuring surface, you can... Uh, help to uh, control those different uh, appearances. You can measure surface finish for its function. One, uh, one way of uh, a surface, a, a, a function is uh, the adherence of a coating. Now, you can have a surface that's too smooth and the paint won't uh, stick to it, or if the surface is too rough, the paint will not cover it and you'll see those, uh, those wavy factors within that, uh, that finish. Or the way surfaces interact with each other. You know, sliding surfaces, you want them pretty smooth, but you may want to create a, a special roughness in that, in that surface so that the oils can fill that and help lubricate it. So you can create custom surfaces uh, for certain applications. And in the manufacturing process, you can fine tune the speed of the, uh, the, the machining operations to get the quality that you need, but also have them run at the best performance. And if there is some type of problem, you can use surface finish to analyze what's going on. So there's lots of reasons to why surface finish should be controlled. And most surface finishes come from the very basic components of a machining process. Here we might have a lathe, which has a spindle, which has a cutter on it, which has, which has a motor, and all those things contribute to the finish that's applied onto the part. So you can get uh, a waviness or a profile from the machine bed. You can get vibration from outside sources. You can get a, a roughness, which is basically the tool marks, and all those things lay on top of each other to create a surface finish. Now in the past, we used to measure surface finish with a scratch uh, block or tester where you would take your fingernail, run it over there, and compare that to the part that you're trying to measure. 
Well, that's that's okay way of doing it, but there are lots of consistency inconsistencies between various people measuring uh, that that surface. Now there are some very sophisticated methods for the measurement of surface finish uh, using mechanical contacts, or now even optical surface finish is available with some very good repeatable results. But in the contact world, there's two methods for making a surface roughness check. The skidded method is, is one where a skid with a sensitive contact passing through it is, is dragged over the part, and as the probe moves up and down through the skid, we're recording the, the, the roughness of that part. And again, because that skid follows the part, we're not going to get any of the waviness or profile information because the skid is following the profile, so all we're going to get is a roughness measurement. A skidless measurement system operates a little bit differently where there's a, a very precise uh, datum guide in the probe and the, the probe is dragged over the part comparing any variation to that reference drive. So this allows us to see profile, waviness, and roughness all at the same time. So MAR provides both types of evaluation systems most of the portable roughness instruments are skidded measurements, but we do also have a skidless portable system. Now there's lots of different parameters to allow us to uh, evaluate the surface finish. In fact, there's over a hundred of them. And those, uh, those different parameters have different functions uh, specifically to evaluate the way the surface is to perform. So you can have uh, parameters that are meant to uh, evaluate the manufacturing process or, or the capability, the characteristics of the surfaces. You know, for example, uh, uh, oil retention, for example. Uh, and there's also other instruments out there that can really analyze what's happening to the surface. But the most common roughness of parameter is R sub A, which is roughness average, and it looks at the peaks and the valleys or the, the various different heights and uses an averaging method to, to qualify the surface. So this averaging method gives a good general indication of the surface. It's very easy to understand and visualize, and you can qualify or quantify uh, the surface with just a single number. So the RA might be, I don't know, 60 RA, for example, or 60 micro inches. So it's a way of, of qualifying the surface very simply, and it's very easy to understand. But you still have to know how the surface is being used to use RA, for example, because you know, here's two surfaces that might produce uh, the same RA, but you can see they have really a different contact. One's kind of a very pointy contact, and the other one is more rounded. So while they can give the, surf, the same surface roughness uh, result, those two surfaces can perform very differently when interacting in other parts. So it's it's important to understand and know what the function of the surface is before you employ the, the roughness parameter that you're going to use. But our, our goal today is to talk about the MarSurf M310. And with this, I think we can guarantee your success with roughness uh, analysis. The M310 is a flexible, multi-talented, uh, system, it's a skidded system for mobile use and workshop conditions. It's high precision method um, uh, of measurement uh, with the stylus allow for testing of roughness on very small or large work pieces. And today most people are used to working with a smartphone and this is kind of the concept that the M310 follows. 
The display looks like a smartphone. It acts like a smartphone. It's a touchscreen type of display. So it's really the perfect way of somebody who's not familiar with surface finish analysis to start making very good measurements because they can become familiar with the product very quickly. Now, just taking a look at the uh, the M310, some of the, the nice features about it, it has a nice, large, uh, over four inch touchscreen display. It's color scratch resistant. And just like a smartphone, you can rotate it to the view that's best for you. We have some status LEDs that signify when it's making a measurement or when the unit is charging. It has a nice large start button that's resistant to chemicals and so forth. So it's meant to be used by a user in shop floor type conditions. Uh, the probe is, uh, can be integrated into the unit or it is removable with an extension cable. So we can get into some smaller parts this way. It's really programmable to do different things. You can assign, in fact, assign function keys on here to do uh, certain parameters like uh, save, the, uh, save the data or print the data by a single key on the display. There's a calibration standard that's built into the unit. The M310 also has a Bluetooth output which can be uh, connected to a small portable printer. Now you can, you know, people are probably saying, well, why do you need a printer when, when, uh, or paper when you have you know, other ways of storing the data? Well, nothing's better than having a piece of paper sometimes to show or to convey to somebody uh, what's going on with the process. So you can get a little printout, you can stick it to the part or into the envelope that's going along or traveling with that part, and it's a very fast way of conveying what's going on uh, to other users of the of the part or other quality control people or process control people as the part is being manufactured. And the starred uh, function here is we have a lot of new output features uh, where you can collect data through Marcom. We have an ASCII output now. We have a way for a USB socket. So there's lots of outputs available for the automation of the MarSurf M310, and we'll talk about those in a minute. In terms of some of the operational feature, I, I mentioned the large illuminated 4.3-inch uh, touch display. It's rotatable. It's easy to use as a smartphone, so very little training is required. We use a, uh, a unique MAR feature where we can automatically select the cutoff based on the measurement that's being made. So even non-measurement type technicians uh, can get good results by letting the M310 do the automatic cutoff selection. And what we do is after each measurement is made, we create a chart as seen on the right side here of of the result, and that's stored on the M310 in a PDF format. So when you plug the M310 into a computer, it acts as a as a, uh, a memory stick, and the computer looks at that just as a normal file location, and you can see all your PDF reports automatically. So and here's the here's the selector view screen of. Um, showing the different rotations of possible orientation for the display. The display is, again, a colored display, so you can see the uh, resulting trace, and you can set limits for uh, green or red, so when that parameter goes out of tolerance, the user can see that, and those same out of tolerances are shown on the PDF output. So lots of ways to see what's going on with the results. The M310 has 31 roughness parameters, so it's offering basically the same uh, parameter list as some of the more higher cost laboratory instruments, and you're getting this in a portable handheld device. The display uh, 
and the, the printing can show your material ratio curves or your amplitude density curves. So, you know, we talked about uh, holding oil uh, for lubrication or the way surfaces match together. Well, these are different types of ways of analyzing how two surfaces are going to act together. And like I said, for tolerance monitoring, tolerance limits can be set for all the selected parameters. And you can see those reds and greens on this display are part of the, uh, the PDF printout. There's enough memory inside the M310 for at least a half a million results. But if you even want to add a memory stick, you can multiply that by many factors. And all the, all the measurements are done in according to international standards, whether ASME or, or DIN or ISO. The M310 applies those standards to the measurements. We also have software with the Mar, um, Marwin software called Quick and Easy. So if you wanted to do further analysis of those results, that's something that can be looked at and analyzed further. And like I said, we, we can apply some uh, user programmable keys on the basic view to make uh, the system easier more than a one button operation. Very simple for the operator to use. In terms of feature, we're offering the, the USB connector with Bluetooth so that you can, uh, you can hook up the Bluetooth printer to get your results uh, right at the point of manufacturing. Um, the colorful LED readouts here allow for easy operation and understanding what's going on. And with a, it's a rechargeable, a battery-operated system, and you can get over 1,200 measurements without having to recharge the device. We mentioned that the probe is uh, removable and with, a, with, a, with the supplied cable. You can get into more uh, difficult-to-use applications. So it's a very flexible, removable drive system. It has built-in adjustments in here, so if you have it integrated and you have to get to a step or something on a part, you can adjust the height accordingly. There's an integrated and removable calibration standard built into the system. And the whole product comes in a very heavy-duty transport case. We have an individual case for the for the M310 itself, and you can store all your cables, instruction manuals, the printer, and so forth, all within this handy case. Now, we talked about interfaces. Now, interfaces is a, is a very important part of the, uh, the M310 because it gives uh, the user some more and very unique application capabilities that other products simply don't have. So we have the SD slot I, hear, I, I mentioned for the micro SD card. You can put up a, to a 32 gig of card in there, so you can imagine the millions of data points that you can store. But we also use that as a way for a user to update the operating system. So you know, occasionally more features get added. Um, we add a different parameter. We add some more things to the product. Well, with the uh, SD card, the user go, can go ahead and update the operating system. In the middle here is the USB-A interface. So this is where we would plug in our uh, USB Bluetooth adapter, or uh, you can plug a cable in there to the printer. You can plug a barcode scanner or a keyboard into the, the, the device, depending on the different applications, and we'll mention those in a minute. We also have our MAR Connect duplex interface for our MARCOM professional software. Uh, so we can collect data and control the unit through MARCOM. And there's a micro USB interface where you can connect this to a, uh, to a PC and uh, let the unit operate as a memory stick. But we're offering now the unique uh, capabilities of having remote control via ASCII commands. So we can build the M310 into a, a gauging process 
and have a PC or even a PLC take control of the M310 and make it part of the operation. So with, uh, with uh, the MarCom software and uh, the Mark Connect cable interface, we can uh, collect data into an Excel with MarCom. What's very unique with the M310 and MarCom is that we can, it has a built-in uh, identification code for the M310. So not only are we collecting data with time and date and the results, we know what gauge made the actual measurements. So this is all part of, of putting the whole picture together when we're collecting data. We not only collect the information of the, of the measurement, we know what gauge did it, and by that you can trace it back to know when that gauge was last calibrated. All part of a good data collection process. And with, uh, with Marcom software, you can set tolerances or you can control the product remotely through the cable. Lots of ways of operating the M310 with uh, Marcom software. With the USB interface, there's a number of different things to do. You can, of course, connect the Bluetooth printer to the unit and, and do your chart recordings. We have the capabilities of plugging a, uh, a barcode scanner in there and controlling the start and stop operations with the scanning by, re, by uh, viewing the code. Or we can use the barcode to upload the various parameters, their tolerances and so forth, so that the operator doesn't have to uh, program the M310. You can do it through a bar scanning uh, application. And you can also connect a USB keyboard. So if you want to customize the, uh, the PDF uh, header text and so forth, you can, of course, do that uh, through the M310 uh, touch code of the keypad. But if you want, you can plug in your keyboard and uh, program it that way with all your various text customer name, user, et cetera. The remote control via the micro USB is probably the biggest uh, uh, advantage with the M310 because you can now really control the whole product and build the, uh, the M310 into various uh, automatic or semi-automatic uh, or even manual uh, stations. So now with the commands, you can start the measurement, you can change the settings on the M310. You can request the settings or the data from the M310. Or you can even use the M310 as a, as a monitor or as a remote display and, and give commands to the user when it's time to maybe remeasure a part. So lots of capabilities through the micro USB interface. So here's some... Uh, Applications of roughness at the point of manufacture. Uh, you can measure big parts or small parts uh, right on the shop floor. Uh, it's designed to be used by the operator at the point of manufacturer. But you can also use the M310 in various stands and in benchtop applications with a MAR makes a, a number of different stands available for different types of applications. You can take the, uh, the drive system and probe out of the M310 and use it in our little handheld V with height adjustments to uh, put that in a part or on top of our part to make a measurement. Or we can build the M310 into a custom fixture so that the operator simply has to place the part onto the fixture press the start button, and the measurement is made. No trying to uh, align the part to the probe system. It's all done as part of the, the custom gauge solution. And all the accessories that are available for all the various other roughness products that, that MAR has, the PS10, for example, are all available, and they all work with the M310. We make probes for small bores, for deep grooves, 
uh, for measuring uh, to, uh, gear tooth lengths and so forth, or we offer extensions to allow the probe to get further into a, into a small bore. So all these stand ex accessories are all compatible with the M310. We mentioned the data connection cable. It's a bi-directional cable so that we can not only receive information, but we can also send data to the M310 for, to program it, tell it to when to start, tell it what the tolerances are, and so forth. <clears throat> we include the, uh, the test uh, geometry standard with the unit. <clears throat> we have a whole series of different uh, standards that are available. There's a new magnetic holder for the M310, so if you have a very large part, you can use this to have the part stay on the part uh, without the operator influence the measurement. And just like uh, your cell phone, well, we have display protection films, which are real glass, which can be purchased to, to help protect it when used in the very harsh environment. So when you buy a uh, or purchase a M310 a set, you get all these different uh, components to it. You get the case, you get the uh, <clears throat> the various power adapters, all the cables, <clears throat> a folding a card of parameters, the case for the product itself, and the storage case for the whole system. We also have a system available with a printer. The printer sits back here, and it's a Bluetooth printer, rechargeable, and you can get hours of use out of it. <coughs> and just to point out that the M310, again, is, a, is our product of the month. You've seen the data sheet that's available for it. The prices are listed here. These are our introductory prices, as this is a, a new product, but we're promoting it uh, as, as the product of the month. If you order in the month of December, you'll get a free MAR mug with it. And if you ask, and if you need one, we have a two-page brochure that talks about all the features that I've talked about today. So remember, the, uh, the, the product of the month is our MarSurf M300. We've talked a little bit today about the importance of measuring surface finish. The M310 is our newest and most powerful, easiest to use roughness measuring system. It's portable. It can be used on tabletop applications, or it can be integrated into automated applications, very powerful uh, capabilities. That's really the choice for the at the point of manufacturer inspection. And with Marlite and being product of the month, it's truly a great value. And why choose Mar? Well, Mar has a broad range of products to be used in the industrial metrology environment. We have the application people to help support you. We've got a great uh, portfolio of wireless handheld tools that help you reach uh, the requirements of Industry 4.0. Our promotional prices uh, and quality help you achieve the best value. And we'll mail to you the, the link of the recording of this webinar in case you need it. You can get another PDF of the Marlite data sheet. And if you want uh, more brochures or information, uh, just email us here and we'll send them to you. So thank you for your attention. Take advantage of the Marlite's brochure and the, the product of the month with the M310. And if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to contact us. Thank you again for attending.